Hey everybody, this is Dr. Walter Sims. I'm the Minister of Motivation and I've been challenged. I've been challenged by my youngest son, Jordan, to do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Listen, I've been doing a little research and ALS has raised about $31.5 million uh, over the last nine months. And social media has played a big part in that. So also, this go out to Shopmaster and Mad Scientist. They did the challenge, and they don't think that Dr. Sims could do the challenge. I'm doing the challenge, and I want to nominate. Uh, I want to nominate my boy Swizz. I want to nominate everybody that's gonna see this on Fox 34. I want to challenge you to do the ice bucket challenge and send me a link so I can put it on my fan page. All right, you ready, Jordy? You ready, Jordy? All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I got to dump it on myself. I got to dump it. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Woo! 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 Hello everyone, I am Scott Falk, principal of Honeysuckle Middle School, and I love watching the Dr. Walter Sims show. Been knowing him for a long time. Keep it up, my brother. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Jeff Torrance, principal at Morris Slingliff Elementary School. Hey, we're out here at our grand opening of our brand new playground. We're gonna have a picnic today for all of our students and family out here today. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Come on out if you can. One thing about me, I love watching the Dr. Walter Sims show. Peace. They said you wouldn't make it so far on. And ever since they said it, it's been hard. But never mind the night you had to cry. Cause you had never let me go inside. One. I'm Stephanie Jones, and I'm a member of Sweet Bethel Baptist Church. And I came to Sweet Bethel um, the first beginning, the first weekend in July, and I have not missed a Sunday since. And it's because I felt the love of the congregation and Dr. Walter Sims. He is a motivational speaker, and he brings the word to you in a way that you could not have possibly heard it before. So I want to invite you to catch the Dr. Walter Sims show on Fox 34 on Saturday mornings at 930? 830. 830, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you will be blessed beyond measure. Well, Thank Brother you. Torrance, how long have you been principal here at Morris Slinger? Uh, I started back as principal here at Morris Slingliff Elementary School in uh, February of 2014. Uh, this is my first uh, Full year, we'll get started. We actually been in school seven days now. It's okay. been a really good opening of the school year. We were able to open our uh, inclusive playground here, which um, uh, gives our special needs kids the opportunity to get out and and be a part of physical activity every day. Uh, it's a project that's, that's been in the works for about three years, and we were able to uh, secure uh, some donations and grants over the summer so that we could finish the project. So it's truly a blessing for us to be able to uh, finish this project. That's good, that's good. What's, what's the age range of the school here? Uh, this is a K kindergarten through fifth grade school. Uh, this year, uh, fourth and fifth grade will uh, participate in the one-to-one -one initiative with the iPads. Our school has a lot of technology in it. Each, each classroom actually has a Promethean board. Uh, all of our teachers here have iPads, and we do rotate. Uh, we have two iPad cards and two uh, Apple Mac cards that we rotate through the grade level. So we're we're a very high uh, technology school, you know. And and when you when you think about Marshall School, a lot of times you 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 have what we call perception and reality. Uh, a lot of times the perception is, you know, when someone looks at uh, test scores and things like that, and they have a certain perception of uh, what the school is. But the reality is, is that our teachers, they work hard every day. Oh, and that's they love awesome. each and every one of our children. Awesome. And uh, they really make a difference. Well, how, heard, many, how, many, heard, how, many, how many teachers do you have here at the school? Here we, you? Faculty and staff, why we have 50. We have 50 faculty and staff members here, and, and they're what we call 
I uh, heard Dr. Adolph Brown say it best. They're what we call balcony people. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we all want to be in the balcony. We don't want to be basement people because basement people tend to, uh, it's that crab mentality. When that crab tries to get out of the bucket, that other crab reaches up and grabs it and pull him down. <laughs> so we, we, we turn, we phrase, we, we coined the phrase balcony people here at Morris Slingles Elementary School. And uh, we really take pride in it. And each and every one of our balcony staff here at Morris Slingles loves our children. Oh, that is awesome. So what's your overall vision for the school? Well, my overall vision is to make sure every kid is successful. Uh, you know, I, I truly believe that the, the, the tree is in the seed, as Dr. Adolph Brown says it. Uh, we can't judge a kid's uh, exit by his entrance. So we want to make sure that every kid here is successful and uh, make sure we give them an opportunity for, for a good education here at Marshall Lingle Elementary School. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Principal. We'll be back, y'all. We'll be back in a few minutes, and we're going to do a little bit more talking with the Principal. I love this young man. Y'all hold tight, and we'll be right back. Hey, guys. For all your health and nutritional needs, go see my friends at Health Concepts, located at 1901 Wise Drive. They are open from Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Um, they open up on Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. Listen, Doreen, Denise, and Sam, the waterman, will be glad to help you learn your way to a healthy and nutritional lifestyle. All right, welcome back everybody. And I'm here uh, in the office of Principal Torrance and uh, we're taking a few minutes away from the festivities outside. I want to spend some time with this young man because I am really, really excited about everything he's doing here. Uh, at the elementary school and I love what he just said this may not be a magnet school uh, but we're gonna treat it as such man and and Col uh, and Col and principal how you doing man doing well doing well <laughs> good day beautiful day it's it's about a hundred degrees outside but it's beautiful it, it's nice wait before we get into interview of uh, uh what's this I I know what it is they know what it is but you tell us what this is this is uh this is my football helmet from the University of Alabama I actually uh Played football there from 1991 to 1994. Amen. Uh, played for Coach Gene Stallings. He was my coach there. I was part of the 1992 National Championship team. And uh, Roll Tide, y'all. Roll a, Tide. It was, it, was, it was a great experience. Uh, more than anything, uh, the relationships that you build. Amen. Uh, met my wife at the University of Alabama. Amen. And uh, just the relationships that you build and uh, the people that you meet. And, and that's 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 one of the things I encourage. Amen. Um, even when I was coaching uh, elementary school kids, I encourage them. Hey, you, you want to get out? You want to go places? You want to meet people? Because and, and if you do have opportunity to go to college, go. Amen. Because it's it, it's a great experience. Yes, it the is. The people that you meet in, at, when you go to colleges, Amen. their relationships that you, that last a lifetime. Lifetime. And, lifetime. Uh, you know, I, I'm actually still reaping the benefits from some of those relationships. Oh, that's good. So, so where are you from? Where are you from? What's home for you? I'm originally from Atmore, Alabama, a little small what? town. Okay. Um, just. Uh, East of Mobile, okay. north of Pensacola, Florida, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, from Atmore, Alabama, mother and father were both teachers, Okay. and uh, my dad was a coach, so I grew up as a coach's son, went to all the football games right. as, a, as a young man, and, and went to all the practices, so when I was a fifth grader, I knew what I wanted to do, oh, wow. you know, I, I knew that I wanted to be a college athlete, I knew I wanted to be a college football player. And I had the blueprint for it yeah. because I heard my dad as a, as a young elementary kid talking to his players and telling them that, hey, you got to have good grades. You got to right. have great work ethic. Uh, <laughs> you you got to do the right thing. So I, I heard that over and over right. from, from the time I could understand it up until, you know, I graduated from high school. Amen. Uh, Amen. So, so I heard that over and over and over. So by the time I was in fifth grade, I had the blueprint. I oh, understood wow. what it took to become a college athlete and you know, ask you this and, and this is what I want to touch on just a little bit how important is the role of dad uh, a male mentor in the home how important is that male presence I, I, I think it, I think it's very important uh, from the aspect of uh, you know teaching the kids uh, the right thing amen amen I, I, amen. I believe that um, you know being there and, and, and being that role model in the home is very important. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, I, I like that. Well, how did you get to Dothan, Alabama? 
What led you here? Well, well, uh, had a you know one of the things with me is I, I've, I've coached and taught a lot of different places. Right. And one thing my wife kind of gets on to me about is you know you, you you never get anywhere in state, but the thing I have to kind of uh, express to her is that those experiences that I had. And those experiences that I that 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 I was part of prepared me for this position Amen. as a coach. That's good. That's uh, good. Because because you know I have taught and coached at a Hoover High School. Oh wow. Which okay. you know which is one of the largest Amen. high schools Amen. here in the state of Alabama. But I also taught and coached at Dale County High School, oh, which wow. is in a rural area. Amen. Uh, and and you know you just kind of learn how to deal with different students, different parents, right. different people. And uh, I think that's prepared me in, in my career and, oh, and gave good. me some experiences okay. uh, that, that are helping me today. That's good. So, so what are some of the challenges uh, that you're finding here uh, at the elementary school? Well, I think one of our biggest challenges is uh, just, just trying to help the kids to uh, overcome the perception. Okay. You okay. know, okay. Uh, like, like I said earlier, the perception is that you know, you, you're coming from a single parent home. Right. You you know you you're at school. Your test scores are low. Wow. And, and wow. you know, wow. you're not going to achieve. You know, okay. you, You're not going to be successful. That's the perception. That's the perception. But but like I said, the reality is, you know, you you, you can't judge a kid by his entrance. We're only going to judge him by. His I like that. I like that. And I, I I really I really feel that you know we want to encourage our kids here. Uh, number one that. That they can be successful. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. And, then, and then they can achieve. Oh, that's and, awesome. And we're going to give them that. We're going to give it to them over and over and repetitiously <laughs> every day. Whether it's the whether it's that's the uh, whether it's the up. custodian giving it to them, whether it's our our, our CFP workers, our lunchroom workers giving it to them, whether it's a teacher giving it to them, whether it's a, wow. a library giving it to them, that's whether it's an aide giving it to them. That's good. Uh, we're going to be all all be balcony people here at Morris Lincoln Elementary School. Yeah. And we're going to give them the opportunity, and we're going to give them a chance to achieve here. Oh, that's good. Real quickly, the last thing I want to touch on, what's your motivation? What what gets you up every day? What just just makes you look forward to your tomorrow? Talk to well, us about your motivation. Well, more than anything, you know, there's three things. Uh, you know, my faith is number one. Amen. Uh, my family is, is directly behind that. And, and directly up under that is my my drive to make a difference in, in the lives of, of students and children. Amen. And uh, that that just moves me. Uh, I've been in this for 17 years now. Oh, wow. Wow. And, you know, when I see students that I had early in my career that are now doctors, that are now lawyers, they don't even have to be that. Uh, I have some that are brick masons, that we oh, got wow, trades, that wow. are brick masons, that are concrete awesome. finishes, awesome. finishers, and things like that. That's awesome. So, awesome. you know, they're very productive citizens now. And, you know, that to me is, is success. And, you know, I, I know all of them, they probably won't go to college. Okay. But okay. they can achieve a trade. That's right. You know, and, right. And, and learn a skill and, and become productive in, in, in life. So that's good. That's what drives me. That's what motivates me. Amen. And, uh, you know, we want to give them that success. Oh, that's good. So if anyone wants to, to contribute or help, here at the elementary school, what can they do? They can just contact us here at Morris Lingwood Elementary School and uh, just ask for me, and uh, I always return calls. Coach, thank you, sir. Can we get a roll tie? Roll tie. Roll. <laughs> Y'all hold tight. We'll be right back. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey guys, guess who made it on The Selfish Chef this week? Her name is Miss Christy Bill. Uh, she's married, she's the mother of two, and she works over there at Houston Academy. Miss Christy, you have won lunch for, I guess four, over there at Bishop's Home Cooking, located across from Flowers Hospital on 84 West. Thank you for being on The Selfish Chef.
right, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Uh, my name is Dr. Walter Sims. I am the uh, Minister of Motivation, and I motivate people. That's what I do. What I want to open up with, just right off the bat, who knows how to do the dig? Who can dig? Y'all can dig it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you say. Yo. <laughs> That's what's up. How they do it, how they do it. Oh, oh, oh. Now, what, now I, the only reason I threw that out, because I'm impressed with y'all keeping up with all those dances, the lyrics, y'all keep up with fashion statements and all of that. The only reason I brought that out is because you guys are smart, you're intelligent, you look good, you're handsome, and you got the whole, your whole life in front of you. Uh, Brian and DeAndre, we were talking a few minutes ago, and they're basketball players, four points away from going to Mobile, the tournament. And they're sitting there right now, and, and we all looked at each other and said, we hate losing. We love to win. And that's what I want to talk to you about this morning. I don't have a lot of time, but I want to talk about win, W-I-N. The W portion of that is simply you got to want to. You can have all the ability in the world. I was talking to some young men a couple months ago, some high school students like yourselves, and the biggest thing I told them, JC, you got to want to. You can have all the skills in the world, but if you don't have this right here, if you don't want to, you'll never do anything. You got to want to. Look at your neighbor and say, you got to want to. You got to want to. You got to have the willingness to do all you can do. Let's say for Brian is going to play at a big school. Let's say, what's your favorite school? Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, he's going, he he want to go to Auburn. But to get off that bench, to get recognized, to play start his freshman year, he's got to do something the other dudes on the team are not going to do. He's got to practice. He's got to do what the coach says. Coaches want people that are coachable. That's the word you hear. You play sports, you got to be coachable. That means you're willing. You got the attitude to be all that you can be. Nobody, nobody can give you that willingness. All right, and the I part of that is you got to be inspired. You got to be excited about your ability. Every one of y'all, God has put something special in every one of y'all. That's part of your inspiration. That's part of having heart. You just got to have that thing that just wells up in your belly, that just gets you going every day. Like JC, he can rap, yeah. he can sing, he can dance, he can break on skates. That light-skinned brother got skills. <laughs> All right? Amen. He's inspired. He's inspired. I, I just asked him, what Go you going to do? Amen. What you going to do? He said, America's got talent. I'm going to be on that. Not only am I going to be on that, I'm going to win. Nobody can give him the attitude. Nobody can stop y'all but y'all. No more can you have this excuse, well, my teacher don't like me. That, the devil is a lie. Your teacher does not have the kind of time to sit around and handpick people she don't like. Right. She ain't got that kind of time right. on money. Okay? okay? And we ain't got that kind of time on money. You got to put every ounce of who you are in everything that you do. I tell my sons all the time, if you're going to do anything, give it your all. I'm going to tell you something else. These teachers, your principal, we ain't begging y'all to be perfect. But what we are asking you to do, give it 100%. You got to put everything you got into what you're doing. What, what's in front of you right now? An opportunity to learn. Back in the day when we didn't have these opportunities, we had to read by candlelight. We tried to read every book in the world. When the last time y'all read a book? Yesterday, man. Amen. Amen. I got one out of 12. You got to be inspired to be all you can be. Learn all you can learn. I mean, soak up everything because the market we live in now, and, and we were cracking JC a few minutes ago, he's a one-man band. You got to do more than just one thing. If you're a basketball player, for example, you got to not only know how to dribble, you need to know how to play defense. Michael Joe and Career went to the next level when he began to win the most valuable player on defense. My favorite player, Kobe is a wannabe, okay? <laughs> Kobe is a wannabe. Kobe will never be. He'll never get Michael Jordan status. I'm sorry. I don't care how many championships he gets because Jordan, Jordan transitioned the game. That's the kind of life you ought to want to live. I'm going to tell you something else. This is not in my notes. I'm going to give this to you free. I'm going to give this to you free. To do right or wrong takes one second. 
You can become a millionaire with a one second decision or you can throw your whole life away in one second. Now I'm giving this to you for you, it's not in my notes because me and uh, Miss Young was up front talking. Don't ever do anything that you don't think about. And if you're going to do it, be man enough to say, I did. Don't try to blame. Well, my friends led me here. Uh-uh. Oh, uh They didn't make you do anything. Quit saying, the devil made me do it. The devil is a lie. You have a choice. And I challenge you today, invite you today, make the right choice. Are you going to miss it every now and then? Okay. Like in the game where y'all lost by four points. Somebody missed a layup they should have made. Somebody missed a wide open jump shot. Somebody could have blocked the shot. The other team made the shot. Okay. Are you going to make two mistakes? Look at your friend and say, yeah. Are you going to be stupid at least once in your life? Yes. Guess what? The male brain does not fully develop to age 30. Man, that messed me up. I Googled it. I'm like, snap. So ladies, when we make bad decisions, okay, my brain ain't fully developed. The next time you're at home, your mom and dad fussing at you, Dr. Sims told me today, my brain does not fully develop until I'm 30, so you got to give me some latitude, okay? <laughs> you got, I, God, I can't get excited about uh, the I. You got to be inspired. You got to wake up in the morning, just cannot wait to get your day started. Quit complaining about your day. Don't rush growing up. I'm 44 and a half. I played basketball three weeks ago, and I'm still limping right now. And N is my favorite one. Never, ever, ever. What did Bone Crusher say? Ever, 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 ever. JC, hear me out. Say ever, 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 ever give up. I put out a quote on Facebook and Twitter. I would rather be accused of missing the shot than never load my gun. A lot of people my age and younger are sitting on the sideline of life, crying, complaining, and whining, but they never gave life a chance. Life is exciting, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all got so much opportunity. You got iPad. You got iPod. You got laptop. You got all kind of opportunity. You have no excuses now not to be successful. The highest ranking man in the world in these United States is a brother just like us. No more can you just walk around with your pants down. Pull your pants up. Every time you leave the house, I want you looking good, smelling good, and having an awesome attitude. Young ladies don't like you when your pants hanging down. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. Looking like a fool with you. <laughs> pull your pants. Look at your name. Say, pull your pants up. Tighten your belt up. Tighten your tie. Walk a little tall. Everybody sit up a little taller now. Sit up a little taller. <laughs> It's all about that swagger. You got to have that too. If you don't think you all that, nobody else will. Amen. Oh, I feel like shouting up here. Somebody ought to say hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, somebody ought to shout up in here. If you look at your name and say, if you don't like me, if you don't it's, like all it's all good. It's all good. Because guess what? I got enough like for myself. I don't need it's nobody else. Right. High five your neighbor and say, I know I'm all that. I know. Right, Y'all get somebody high five my boy back here. He just chilling. Somebody high five him right quick. I know I'm all that. <laughs> It's all, look at your neighbor one more time and say, it's all about attitude. It's all about attitude. You cannot buy, I don't have about nine minutes, you can't buy, you can't rent it, you can't get it from somebody else. You just got to have it. Well, Dr. Sims, I say, you, you, you say have this winning attitude. Uh, uh, what can slow that down? And I'm going to tell you something. I'm working on my next book, Happy as a Country Pig in City Slop. The strategic approach to becoming a happier person. And one of my chapters, the very first chapter I talk about, take a reality check. Uh, me and my sons, um, March of last year, or me and Jonathan, my oldest, went to Washington, D.C. 14 hour bus ride. And so one of the things we started doing was playing poker. So some of the kids taught me how to play Texas Hold'em. And so I'm a very competitive person, B. And so, I mean, I'm Googling, I'm playing poke on the computer, learning how to play. And what I was noticing, the better card players, and I was watching on ESPN, the better card players don't always get the best hand. So what's the best hand in poker about a, a raw flush? 
something like that, you're not going to get a raw flush every hand. You're not going to get three of a kind, four of a kind, uh, uh, the seven, eight, nine, ten jack. I would like to thank Principal Jeff Torrance and the staff over at Morris Sling Love School for allowing me to be a part of their grand opening of their all-inclusive park. Um, I just thank everyone for tuning in each and every week, uh, checking out my show. I want to thank the Lord for this awesome opportunity. And each week is getting better and better. Listen, you, if you would like to be an advertiser, a sponsor, or appear on the Dr. Walter Sam show, Simply dial me up at 205-225-9757. And as I always say, if you stay high on life, life will stay high on you.